100 FM, The Pike, and that would be Poison. And uh, there is a great uh, tribute band, A Shot of Poison, from right here in Worcester. As I like to call them, the world's greatest poison tribute band. And that might be the case because they are part of the new E! Entertainment uh, Network show called Clash of the Cover Bands. And on the phone right now, we have, uh, his name is Frank Papillo, but in Shot of Poison, it's Fred Fred Michaels. (laughs) What's up? Frank, how you doing, man? I'm great, Mike. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. Thank you for getting up early and, and talking to us about this. It's exciting to have, you know, uh, a band from Worcester involved in this uh, in this show. And I know you probably can't tell us a lot, but I think the first question everybody know or wants to know is when can they see a shot of poison on Clash of the Cover Bands? Well, it's really exciting to be on it, and thank you so much for having me this morning. But, yes, we are, we've are we been told, and the thing is they try to keep the excitement up from week to week. They want everybody to tune in. It's a great show um, with 20 of the best cover bands on, on this show that's produced by Jimmy Fallon, as we know. Um, but we've been told we will be aired toward the second half of the season. So it's been airing for two weeks, um, uh, looking like we'll be there right at the very beginning of December. Oh, okay. So not that far off. Nice. Not nice. that far off. No. Nope. Yeah. Frank, is there a social media we could follow to find out? Are you going to post it when the uh, when your episode is going to air? Absolutely. You can go to shotofpoison.com dot com or uh, poisontribute dot com, and that's all of our information there. We have everything up. Now, how did they how did they find you? Like, did they just uh, did you just get a call out of the blue saying, "Hey, you guys want to be on the show," or did you have to like go through some kind of audition or something like that? Exactly kind of what you said. They they found us. So we were invited to the show. It came by way of an email to the whole band. Um, and, you know, they introduced who they were. And it's a show produced by Jimmy Fallon. Of course, you first see that email and you're like, yeah, sure. And, uh, right. Yeah, know, I was going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> who is this? <laughs> yeah, who is this? So uh, basically that's what happened. And then we, um, you know, we, we researched it, found out it was a real thing. And obviously then through some excitement, went through a very long vetting process. And uh, we're told that we were selected, you know, of a total of 20 bands selected across the United States. We were one of them uh, to be a part of the show. So it was very, very, very flattering by, you know, it's great. Now, from the episodes they've had so far, they've had one, I think, already. I think this is how they had a U2 tribute band up against a Coldplay tribute band. So I'm just guessing that they're they're doing this by genre, uh, if that's how it works, right? It, it seems that way, and it, you would think that they they put you know bands that make sense to go against another band, but they're calling them uh, different titles. And I know I've seen. I think they called that one that you're referring to the first episode. I think they called it the Stadium Tour Bands, and then. Last week, they had Tina Turner versus Cher, and our friend Lori was Tina Turner, and she ended up wow. winning that week, which was great. And uh, I think they call that the Showstoppers show. So I can tell you the name of our show, I believe they're calling it the Iconic 80s Bands okay. show. That makes okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Can you tell us, I don't know why you couldn't tell us that, can you tell us where your episode was filmed, where your performance was filmed? Yeah, so we spent... Um, over a week out in Hollywood in the studios filming the show. Okay, oh, wow. cool. Nice. Nice. Can you can you tell us who you're going up against? That's going to be released really soon. Okay. I think today. Everybody can find out today. So um, later on today, we will post it on our website, uh, shotofpoison.com. We'll also put it on our Facebook page, um, Shot of Poison Band, and um, everybody can find out who we're up against um, unfortunately, I you know we reach out. They ha- Hollywood has all the rules. You know, they right. Mm-hmm. Out the first right. Key and then uh, tell us when we can. So they yeah, told yeah. us today that they will send us an email. Let us know how to get it out to all of our followers that follow Shot of Poison and everybody you know that that follows uh, the show. We can let them know who we're up against and when the show is actually airing. We will find that out today. Frank, if the shot of poison thing doesn't work out, you should get a job as, like, the governor's press secretary or something. You are very good at <laughs> gently diverting the questions. And, you know, you're, you're very good at that, Frank. Well, is this a show where, where, uh, where viewers' votes will help you? I don't believe it is. No, it's okay. just yeah, they have judges. judges. Uh, and, and, you know, Esther Dean and um, mm-hmm. 
who was Esther Dean, and Adam Megan Trainer, and Megan Trainer, the okay. judges, and they picked the winner. Yeah, Adam. Lam- did you get to interact with Adam Lambert at all? We did not. Okay. Um, we, you know, other than when we were on stage and he interacted with us, we did not get to meet the judges beforehand or anything all like right, that. So. Right. Well, you would just charm the pants off them, Frank. I don't see how that would be fair. So I'm glad <laughs> that they did that. <laughs> all right. Well, he's a. It was cute. It's every, it's every, uh, he was cute. It was every Wednesday night (laughs) at, uh, it's like every Wednesday at 930. You can also check on eonline.com as to when it's going to air or, you know, watch some highlights from the show. And, uh, Frank, uh, congrats on a shot of poison being on the show. Always nice to see Worcester represented worldwide right there. Frank also runs Rascals here in Worcester and you got a, a big event coming up. I think tonight, right? You got a big event going on tonight at Rascals? We do. So um, I have a friend, uh, Johnny Fairplay, who was one of the one of the biggest villains on Survivor ever. Yes, uh, he was great. Yeah, he's coming into town. I actually have to pick him up at the airport when I get off the phone with you. And uh, he's coming into Rascals tonight. We're having a Survivor watch party. Survivor airs at eight o'clock on Wednesdays, so we're going to have a Survivor watch party. He kind of interacts with the crowd, and we'll talk about his experiences on the show. Uh, that'll be tonight. Uh, doors open at 7. Uh, tickets are available through our website, uh, rascalsworcester.com. Um, nice. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to having Johnny there. He's also going to be here through the weekend and DJing our Halloween uh, costume party oh, on nice. Saturday night. That'll nice. be fun yeah. to meet him because he's been on Survivor twice. He was a professional wrestler. And a fun fact about yeah. him, he was Rowdy Roddy Piper's assistant for a while. Wow, really? Yes. Wow. Yes, I have a lot. I got to interview Rowdy Roddy Piper once. It was a, it was a dream come true as a, as a kid who, who grew up watching wrestling. I've got some questions for him this weekend. <laughs> awesome. Oh, my God. That's funny, Adam. You did You knew all of that about him. Yeah, it was funny when I met him. It was like I had no idea he was a wrestler and he was telling me all that stuff. That's kind of funny, right? Yep. That's awesome. Well, uh, uh, Frank Papillo or Fret Michaels from A Shot of Poison, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, best of luck. Of course, you, you know, they all know what's happening, but we're we're here waiting, you know, with bated breath to see what's going to happen with A Shot of Poison. So good luck on that. Congrats on getting on the TV show. I know the, the grand prize is twenty five grand, and then you get to appear on the Jimmy Fallon show, right? Right, the ultimate winner gets to appear on the Tonight Show, and that would be, that would be my ultimate goal. It's, it's, uh, that would be quite exciting. That That's would be awesome. awesome. Yeah. Your biggest decision is going to be: Are you going to take me or Mike as your plus right. one? Absolutely. Right. Exactly. Well, we're gonna need, we're gonna need we might need a couple of roadies, guys. All right, right. I'll roadie for you guys. Yeah, yeah put us put us on the crew. I'll put the wig back on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There you go. Oh. All right, Frank. Thanks a lot, man. We appreciate it. That's uh, Frank. Thanks, Mike. Thank Thanks you. Adam. You guys-